What is the temple? A sex temple was a place, and still is in the other realm, where men and women came to train in sexual art and magic. Where humans came to heal and learn about the sacred union. Yes, it is an actual magic school. A sex magic school, though they have different words to describe it. The temple is created, run and taught by women, goddesses who were themselves initiated into the temple themselves. Chosen by a higher calling, serving all life and the mother herself. These sex priestesses devoted their lives, spirit and bodies to this work. They knew the significance and importance of such work. Many of the pyramids were sex temples. Not all of them, but they are usually the smaller pyramids hidden around the world. There are remaining symbols found from those temples, but I have been told by the sisters that the temple pyramids have not yet been found. Only one was found in Bosnia so far. They are that well hidden from us, and for a reason. Now, knowing about the power they contain, I know humans will not be able to hold the power of the temple yet, and also there cannot be a risk of humans destroying them in any way or misusing the energies in those temples. Many have tried. Dark magicians, for they know the importance and power they possess. There's only a handful of dark magicians who actually know about the sex temple and its realm, as well as its connection to our world. I asked the sisters if writing this book won't place the temple at risk, and they said that humans need to know of the temple and learn from it now. It will be the path of highest awakening at this timeline on the planet, and because those who will do the work of the temple, though they are only a few of them capable of actually doing it, the temple will be safe within their energy field. They, in fact, will become a sort of guardians for the realm of the temple by their courage, honesty and commitment. When the dark masculine world destroyed and hid the temples and killed many of the sex priestesses, they took away most of the human power. The time of sleep has begun. Humans began to have disconnected sex, which disconnected them very fast from themselves and each other, and wars began to spread like wildfire. A world without the sex temple was a breeding ground for low-frequency entities to enter rapidly. Sex was the primal way to connect to source and receive spiritual enlightenment as well as physical healing and rejuvenation, but only when done correctly. Sex holds so much power that the knowledge of its secrets and potential had to be kept in the right hands. Unfortunately, when the dark masculine energy began to take hold and men came with weapons and hate and anger to take and pillage and destroy, many priestesses had to flee and a few managed to hide the temple with the help of the surrounding villagers and initiates, as well as what we can call magic. They somehow transported themselves and the temple into another dimension where it was kept safe until now, but these temples and sisters are very much still connected to our realm. The sex temple pyramids are highly sacred and important. Therefore, no man can find them. What are symbols? Symbols, especially geometric symbols, hold a frequency that can awaken a human being. They have the power to reconnect us with lost knowledge and hidden truths. The imbalance within our inner beings, between our masculine and feminine energies, has been creating our reality in this dimension, instead of our divinity. Humans have been asleep and under a dark spell for too long. Understanding the sacred symbols, which are in fact a form of highly charged sigils, and connecting with their power once more, is one of the greatest tools we have now. The name of the goddess Isis has been used as a symbol for evil magic, for example. Her energy and essence have been awakened in many women now, just as the energy of Lilith, which we'll discuss later, but her image and symbol have been used and have been demonised by those of the dark masculine world. You see, when you do magic, any magic, you want to use the most powerful symbol and you want to have the most powerful vessel to bring the magic forth into this reality. That's why women are used in satanic rituals in such horrific ways, because they are the strongest vessels. They hold a womb. As well as children who hold the power of imagination and with that power can conjure up endless realities and worlds. This use of baneful sex magic goes beyond paedophilia. It is the use of the most powerful vessels in order to give the magic the most power. Of course, 
This kind of evil comes with a huge price for the soul. Those who practice such magic will lose their soul, quite literally, and it happens very easily and very fast. Women and children are the vessels to open up portals to other powers and dimensions. That's why they are being used. Just like the symbol in the name of Isis, a name that holds so much information and power, it's used to bring so much darkness. We see this, of course, in the use of the name for the terrorist groups, named after the goddess herself. It is important we begin to understand and master the use of symbols. The world is in such chaos, the symbols that have been used against us. Many have been trying to awaken humans with the truth of these hidden symbols for a long time. This is the knowledge from the temple itself, and in particular, the temple of Isis and Lilith. The sisters explain that many temples have been awakening once more through certain humans at this time in the last few years, but the archetype of Lilith and the wisdom of Isis is particularly connected and needed in our world at this time, and that's why they are sharing this knowledge at this point. We are intertwined in our destiny, both our world and the dimension of the temple, and that's why they've been reaching out, seeking a way to enter the consciousness of mankind once more. <laughs> 